guys, Slings coming at you. I'm here with my man Say What, doing my interview for Figureheads. So my man Say What Dayspring is putting together this show called Figureheads. It's where he's interviewing some of the guys out of the community. Um, I think he's doing something really cool here. It's something fresh, something we haven't seen before. You know, everybody's starting to put up shows and stuff now, and a lot of them are kind of the same. And this is something totally different, and we get to find out more about people. So his first episode, he interviewed Fernando, and the second one, he interviewed myself. And with Nando's, he sent Nando the questions, and then Nando sent back the responses, and he edited a video. With mine, uh, we got on Skype together, and it was a live interview. So he's changing stuff up, and he's working out kinks here and there, and I think he's doing a great job. So I will link my interview down below. Make sure you go check them out and sub them up, you know. And and I'd like to see more guys from the community get involved and do the interviews with them. So I'm really looking forward to that. This is a show I'll be keeping an eye on. All this work for one freaking shot. <laughs> you know, I spent a lot of time putting this together. I wanted to do a video. Actually, you know what? I am going to do a video. You'll probably see it in the beginning of this video because <laughs> this was just too much work just for a picture. Uh, you know, and me leaving YouTube and everything, I'm going to miss doing certain parts of videos like getting really intricate and stuff like that. Like, I would never normally do this much for a picture. This is a lot of work. But what I did was I took one of the brick walls and I broke it up and then I attached it to a piece of the foam I had and I drove little pieces of the stands I just cut them and drove them through the wall to make it stick see here's a piece of it right there that's how it's being held up there I didn't want to glue it because that foam would probably dissolve with some glue and you know and in case I didn't want to use it for that I don't know so I didn't want to glue it and then that sonic or whatever sound wave thing is the thing I used for Kang in one of my pictures. <coughs> I didn't really have anything else to use for Claw here, so I was looking for cutouts, and I just can't find any modern comic books with a good thing like that. So, um, and then I just got Hawkeye up on one stand, trying to make it look like he's getting blown back, and Ant Man, same thing. I just got him hanging on to a piece of that twist eye. Oh, I put a twist eye through the sound wave just to make it bendy like that. And then of course all my lights. And I took pieces of the fence I made and I had it in there too. So, I thought it looked pretty cool and I It was hard to get an angle. I think I had claw too far back. But whatever. And that is a repaint on the claw. I'll get a better shot of it later. I want to film the video first. And here is that repaint I did on Claw. really helps the figure a lot. Did the back too. Instead of just that plain looking red. And I used two different shades of red. I used a blood red and then a true red. Just to give it different, different uh, shades. That's all. Picked up this tripod. Move over so you can see it better. Tripod from the Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar. Um, and this thing is awesome, man. For a buck, you cannot go wrong. It does feel a little brittle, like it might break, fragile and stuff. But even if it does break, who cares? I'll spend another dollar and get another one. You know, I was going to pick up a big one, but I'm like, yeah, for what I do, this is perfect. It saves a lot of room, and I'll show you. Let me get it off of here without making you guys too dizzy it's really secure when it's on too so it folds up each one of the legs folds down and then it folds up too so that's pretty cool and then this thing it goes if I can move it goes all the way down and when you have the camera on it doesn't tip either and then it goes back pretty far too and it also silk I'm so blurry right now. Side to side. See, I could be using the tripod right now. And then this is to uh, 
adjust this to make it tighter and everything. But it's pretty tight. I mean, the legs aren't loose or anything like that. It's really tight together. So this is going to be perfect for what I do. It saves a lot of room, and I really like it. Only a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I was there, too, and I saw a bunch of, uh, you know, my dogs are going nuts right now. I saw a bunch of, like, soldiers with guns and stuff like that, too. So I might go back and pick some of those up. They were, like, they were only a dollar, and they had, like, four or five guns and flashlights. So I'll probably go back and get some more of that, too. Jeez, yo, you guys chill. Look at them teeth. It's the Saturday before the Amazing Spider-Man movie comes out. So it was Spider Saturday on uh, the ACBA Facebook page. It was great. I mean, there was a lot of great pictures that came out. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I put a bunch of pics up, too, and it was a good time. And then uh, the 14th, I'm proposing that it would be Batman Saturday, obviously, because the Dark Knight will be coming out. So uh, we'll see how that one goes. Hopefully this video will be up before that. Um, but yeah, you guys should come out, join the ACBA page, you know, the other Facebook pages too. Um, but, you know, every once in a while we have a little theme going and it's a lot of fun. Everybody gets into it. There's some goofy pictures. There's some really artistic pictures. There's, I mean, there's a little bit of everything in there and it's a really good time. So I just got back from watching the Amazing Spider-Man movie. You know, it was okay. It didn't really impress me that much. Uh, the whole universe they put him in, I didn't care for at all. If you want to see a good review about the movie, go check out Shard of Mrs. Prime's video. Um, he has spoilers in there. I'm going to have a couple spoilers, nothing big. but uh, So yeah, so spoiler alert, here you go. But, um, yeah, I didn't like the universe they put him in. I didn't like, like parts of his origin that they did like and the movie was like so slow in the beginning but then once it got to the point where it needed to be it rushed everything I thought and it was like it took him forever to put on the spider-man outfit and the outfit he wore before the spider-man outfit was horrible it was just so bad and then they did um, you know they changed a bunch of stuff the way Uncle Ben dies I didn't care for uh, the whole thing about his parents I didn't really care for the way of him becoming Spider-Man, I didn't even care for that that much. Um, so the universe itself, I did not like at all. Now, the actors, I really enjoyed. I thought Andrew Garfunkel, or whatever his name is, the guy that got to play Peter, was great. I thought he was the best Spider-Man I've ever seen. Um, you know, voice-wise, everything, I thought it was perfect. Uh, I wish they would have had him wearing the glasses a little bit more before he became Spider-Man, but... They did put them on eventually, and it was good. Um, and then the Gwen Stacy, uh, God, I forgot her name. I, I knew it, and I just forgot it. But the girl that played her was just awesome. She did a great job. Aunt May was perfect. Sally Fields, awesome. Except for she didn't have gray hair. I didn't really like that. But um, I thought she was a great Aunt May. And uh, even the guy that played the lizard, he, he did an alright job. I, now, here comes a spoiler. The lizard talks in this movie. Horrible. Horrible. Do not make him talk. I mean, I know in some of the comics he, he gets his conscious back and he can talk a little bit. Even in the cartoon he does. Um, I like it a lot better when he's just like a primal beast. And, you know, when he starts talking, I automatically just go to my happy place because it's horrible. Um, him having the coat on every once in a while was great. Wish they would have left that longer. But the overall look of the lizard did not care for it all. Now, going into this movie, I hated the Spider-Man costume before I saw it. It started to grow on me little by little. And now, I actually really, really like it. And, you know, here's the figure here. And, you know, this isn't really detailed that well, but I like the color blue they used on it. And the red and everything. Epic fail with this figure though. Let's see if I could get it. There's his web shooter. And now look at the way his arm is. It's all sideways. His web shooter should have been up here. You know, in line with his bicep. But they put it on the side of his arm. That's a fail. But anyways, not a big deal. Back to the movie really quick. So, um, 
The other thing I did really like is how he made his own webbing. I always thought that should stay with Spider-Man. I don't like the organic webbing thing at all. But, um, you know, and just how he gets like that inherent, uh, he knows how to make it just from the spider bite. It like passed along something to him to learn how to make it. Even though in this movie it was more of a Opcorp, Oscorp invention and all that stuff. But he still puts it together and he does really well at that. I really enjoyed that part of the movie. Um, and the fight scenes were amazing. Those were just great. Everything else, story-wise, it really dragged for me. I didn't really like it uh, that much. Um, and then, like I said, once he finally gets his powers, they, like, rush through it so fast. And then he's Spider-Man like that, you know. They should have did more of working on him developing the webbing and learning how to swing and instead of skateboarding and all this other crap. But, um, so yeah, so my overall view of it, out of five, I'd give it, like, a three. I'd barely give it a three, but, uh... Looking forward to see what happens in the second one, if they bring the Green Goblin in or whatnot. I'd like to see, you know, I'd like to see them bring in a character that they haven't used before, like Electro or Craven or something, but I know those won't get the numbers at the box office, so it'll probably be the Green Goblin. I'd love to see the Hobgoblin. That would be awesome, but I don't think that's going to happen either. And then hopefully if they do get to a third one, they'll redo the Venom and stuff if they don't bring us a new character so but yeah i got some more stuff to say about it but i just really don't want to talk too much and ramble i forgot to mention also the thing i liked the most about the movie was uh the poses that they put him into the spider-like poses i thought they were great um you know when he's web slinging when he's crawling through the sewer you know when he's jumping off the buildings and stuff I just thought that they put him in perfect poses something they didn't do in the first three movies I thought they really captured the spider um, part of Peter the most in this movie and I also really liked how they showed his strength like they really didn't I mean they showed it in the other movies but not as much as they showed it in this one I really like how they did that um, so yeah you know there were some really good parts and those were some of them Just something quick I put together and just cut up a, a brown paper bag and cut some holes in it made bag man. I've seen a couple pictures of this figure so figured that'd be easy to do. I just love putting together these mad scientist looking setups. I've done it with like a Zola figure. Um, I forgot who else. Oh, the lizard. And I mean, I'll keep doing it with every scientist there is. I still got to do one with Doc Ock, you know, Reed Richards, Doom. There's tons of scientists out there in the Marvel U. So I just think these look so cool. This is some of my favorite props, and that's from the Grandpa Munster select figure and then these things are uh, they go out on your lawn <laughs> and I uh, I just picked them up from Lowe's just to see how they would look you know these tube looking things they're just solar powered so right now they're dead but otherwise they light up you know blue red green they're pretty cool but I'm gonna end up returning them because they were just too much money. I just wanted to use them in one set, <laughs> and then I'm going to return them. But still pretty cool. So next week is San Diego Comic-Con. Really looking forward to meeting a lot of new people out there. A lot of the West Coast guys like uh, Salad and Shardimus, Century, Sean Long. You know, the list goes on and on. Uh, hopefully configure maybe which ones. I don't know if those guys are going for sure or not. But uh, And then also some of the East Coast guys that I haven't, that I didn't get a chance to meet last year in New York. So 
Yeah, really looking forward to it. I'll be rooming with uh, Boog and Ryan Riot for a night. Gonna meet up with Junior for some drinks, of course, partying bullshit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. So I'll see you guys out there. You won't see a video at all from me from that. You know, there'll be tons of videos up from everybody else. And I will post some pics here and there over on the Facebook pages. But uh, other than that, you won't hear from me for a while. So. Um, also the BSWS's they're winding down uh, there's maybe only one or two left I don't know we'll see but uh, yeah there isn't much left so uh, once again thank you to everybody and I'll have in my last video I'll have a big you know farewell thing and uh, all that so anyways also there's some contests I gotta get into Marvel walkies and I forgot who else Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now, but I got to go. All right, peace. <laughs>